All right, what's going on, everybody? Today I have a little guide on your Minecraft uh, folder. So um, in this um, video, I'm going to be like showing you guys tips and stuff and a, a full guide on how your dot Minecraft folder, how to get to it, and some and a, a tip I want to share with you guys also. So the uh, the first thing and first and foremost, how to get to your Minecraft folder. Now, some a lot of people, if you have Windows 8, you go to the start bar. Uh, you hit start here there's a little search bar and you type in percent at that a percent but if you're on windows 8 or windows xp and you don't have that you just hold windows key and r or in windows xp that you hit the start and you hit the run and this is uh what people say to do you have you have to type in percent app data percent but there is another way if you just type in app data because look if i um if i do percent app uh the uh if i do percent app data percent you have to type that in the end, okay? It'll take you directly to all your app, um, app data and all your .minecraft. But if you um, go to back to run, if you just type in app data, hit enter, it will take you to these three files. And what you want to go is you want to go into roaming, roaming, and then it'll take you to your .minecraft right here. So, uh, and there are other ways to get to it. Um, if you go into your file thing and you just type into the directory bar and you type that in, uh, a P P D A T A. Per oh no, nope, that's not it. What the <laughs> no. Uh, if you type, you have to actually type in percent. Uh, that. Uh, nope. 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 Uh, app. Percent. And hit enter. Then it'll take you there too. But what I like to do, if um, uh, if you want to get to your dot Minecraft folder the easiest, you just copy Minecraft. Let me actually, I already have one here, so let's just delete that. Crap! I think I did, okay, good. <laughs> uh, you just uh, right click on Minecraft, hit, right click, hit copy, go to your desktop, right click, hit paste shortcut, and then name it, just leave it like that. And then now if you double click on the shortcut, it'll take uh, automatically take you to your app data roaming and that Minecraft. And also, if you're on if you uh, want to get to the app data, but you can't see, you go to your username. As you can see, you, you can only see like di uh, documents and music pictures and videos. You can't see app data right here because you go to app data roaming. Then it takes you there too. Then what you want to do is, uh, I don't know, for Windows 7, I know there's like an organize button right here. And if you click organize, you can um, show hidden files and folders. You want, But for Windows 8, you want to go to view and you tick hidden, check hidden items. So I think there's no more app data. But if I tick this, then you can see app data right there. But what, what I like to do is um, um, check on check file name extensions, so then you can know what type of file it is. All right. So once you go to dot Minecraft, then this is what you all get. It, it might be some mumbo jumbo to some people, but don't worry. Um, this like all these options dot of options. I think these are just yeah. This is just for um like um no, it's not even this out, but this is for a server. I think you'll only have, yeah, you'll only have options.txt. No, wait, this is, um, and you won't have this much because I have the mod called Optifine installed. And yeah, so I have options of Optifine and stuff like that. So you might not even have these four things. But yeah, the launcher.jar is your launcher and stuff. Uh, you, these things you don't really know where about output server log, but this, to where the, all the folders is, that's where you wanna worry about if you wanna customize your whole Minecraft. So the stats is, this is basically um all your stats and this is how to, and if you delete everything, I'm pretty sure it um that resets your ach achievements. I, I'll just have to rewatch the video, but I think that's what you do. Uh, don't I won't I can't guarantee that but yeah saves this is um saves where all your single player worlds at are at save like the folders and files and also be uh going to this uh, something about the save shortly and about deleting world uh, a cool tip about that libraries don't even know what that is you, you guys probably know what this is uh yeah some stuff uh we got mods now mods are where we this is I don't, I don't even know this. Oh yeah, this is a uh, where you have all your mods. I think I, I don't think you'll even have mods here. This is just because I have mod loader. Uh yeah, so we have uh, versions here. This is where all your versions of Minecraft are stored at. So what, if you like uh, make a new profile, I'll, I'll also get to this later. Yeah, we got screenshots. These now this is where all your screenshots of of Minecraft you've taken. This is a screenshot I took accidentally, so I can actually delete this this I can delete this 
And this one, I think I... No, I can delete this, too. Uh, yeah, I think I can. And... But it, to, to do a screenshot, it's uh, default is F2. I, I don't think you can change it. Yeah, you just hit F2. And these are the screenshots of the trios I made. I made that on a server. This is far away. And to I just zoomed in with control because I have Optifine. I also have this picture, which is uh, a bit farther. And this one too. So these are where all your screens are. You just hit F2. And to make it have like not the GUI, you also hit F1 in Minecraft. And if you go back, uh, next thing we have, wait, what the heck, I, okay, libraries, wait, we've already been here, <laughs> mods, versions, versions, resources, now, when you first download Minecraft 1.6.2, you will not have this resources folder with sounds and stuff, um, so what you do is you go in, uh, and you go into your new Minecraft launcher, alright, and you have to create a new profile, and you have to do version 1.5 to add that resources folder on. What's this? Uh, no, don't need that. All right. Next thing, we have texture packs. Now, these texture packs are not even supposed to be here because they won't work for 1.6. I just, of course, I loaded up a 1.5 world for Minecraft to, to get the resources because I wanted to get the sounds of Minecraft and edit them and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I probably won't have this. Unless you already had Minecraft before 1.6 came out, then you'll have all these things. Uh, next thing, crash reports. Uh, these just all the crashes you've had. This junk here. I think you're supposed to send them to Minecraft.net, but yep. And next thing, resource packs. Now this is like um, the new texture packs for Minecraft 1.6.2 or 1.6 in general. Um, instead of texture packs, they added resource packs, which is just uh, you can add texture packs, but you can also add custom sounds, which is really cool. So you can have, like, the old alpha and beta days of Minecraft sounds, like, the instead of the chest open, like, the chest opens, it's now, uh, you, you know, you probably guys know, you guys probably know the old Minecraft things. Assets are just some, what is this? <laughs> I'm going to open this with notepad, see what this is. That does not belong here, will be the lead. All right, um... Dinner bone from of Mojang. Sweet. And, oh, here's sound. Yeah, yeah. I think that's how you get to sound. The new way to get to sound is assets and sound. All right. And then you have all the sounds here. And, yeah. I, I made, um, this is, it's an OGG file. So, if you want to listen to it, I advise you get, like, a, an audio recording program. And then you make it open it. So, if I double click on one, it, it will open with Audacity if I play. As you can see, it's the Minecraft sound. Might be a bit quiet, but, you know, uh, doesn't matter. I think you can still hear it. Oh, crap. No, I don't want to save this anywhere. All right. No. So, that's basically it for Minecraft uh, and what everything is. So, the next thing is I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks I have on what, like, uh, first thing I'll do saves and then what versions is and also what, uh, what is it again? Oh, yeah, and uh, what how to get these resource packs and stuff like that. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so now we are in our Minecraft launcher and um, to get that resources thing, I mean, first thing I wanna do is, um, I'm gonna show you guys about the versions folder that was in the .minecraft. So if you hit edit profile and you, um, as you can see under version selection, um, we, we can uh, choose we can allow use of beta versions and alpha versions, which is really cool too. Um, but we're not worried about that in here. Here we, we're worried about use versions. And uh, actually, let's make a new profile. Let's call it, uh, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Tut, tut, tut. That stands for tutorial. If you say profile, uh, you can log out and stuff. Oh crap, I'll just play like this. And then if you hit edit profile, as you can see, you will, you will not have 1.6.2 mods. I just added that. You'll actually have this, or you'll you, you'll have that use latest version. And what that, and you won't have this either. And you won't have this. Okay, <laughs> this is what it should look like when it first starts off. And so, uh, in use version, um, basically by use latest version, it means that you can choose whatever version of Minecraft you wanted to use. So you can even go back to version one. You can keep on going up because these are. Uh, all saved here and if you like choose a version one 
that and as you can see uh in the and these versions are these all all these files are um either they're not in the versions folder of dot minecraft or they are as uh you can tell that 1.6.2 and 1.6.1 and 1.5.2 those folders was in the versions folder if i show you uh actually no let's go to dot minecraft shortcut as you can versions we have 1.5.2 1.6.2 1.6.2 mods and those are in here but uh, but I actually don't have 1.6.1 but and you can use these but if you don't have one like you don't ha i didn't have 1.4.7 in there and if you um like if you do release 1.4.7 if and if you save profile and if you hit play then it will i guess generate a new folder in that versions folder and instead of having only 1.6.2 and 1.5.1 it will also have uh the 1.4.7 since you just played minecraft on one of these older versions all right so that's what versions is and um to install mods it's tricky you need to go make a new version you need to, you need to like i'll show you now actually it, it's a really simple way of installing mods like you just go to not the simple way but how do you just copy one of these like you copy this and you paste it in here and then you rename this to whatever you want you rename whatever you rename this to you have to rename these two files you also copied and you have to rename that thing to the same thing and then you just opened up minecraft dot this thing dot jar delete meta inf and you install the mod and that's how you basically install the mod and yeah and so that is basically a little overview of the versions folder and also a quick tip if you are if you want to uh, get that resources pack for the sound, uh, which you don't need because it's already put in another place, you just you have to run a you you have to run a what do you call it test? Was that oh you have to run a older version of Minecraft and then that resources and texture packs folders will be generated in your dot Minecraft. And my last but certainly not least, exactly one of the most the one of the more it's it just like keep on watching this but this is really important guys if you are looking into deleting your minecraft world so usually if you if you want to delete a minecraft single player world you would go into minecraft you would click on the single player and you hit delete right and it says that the 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 map will be lost forever blah blah a long time and it says that i think because um uh, in Windows 7, I know there's a way to get it back, like, but not in its full state or whatever, using previous versions, uh, but uh, that's for getting it back. But if you want to delete it, right, don't delete it from actual Minecraft itself. Like, if you go into open Minecraft, and I won't, and you go to, one second, it's the profile. You go to my name, you go to my user, I mean, and then go to single player and you want to delete a word like that do not delete it from minecraft what you want to do is uh because it, uh you want to delete it from your saves because this is where all your worlds are you want to click on that and hit the delete button right you right click and hit delete i won't do that because this is a this is my let's play world so um because when you maybe you forgot about something in the world that you really like like oh shoot no i shouldn't have deleted that world well if you if you delete it from minecraft it's virtually gone forever that's why they said, are you sure you want to delete it? It'll be gone forever slash a long time. Um, and that's partly true. There are some ways to get it back, but it's really, really hard. And I don't, it's, you, you just, it's basically gone. So, and if you're looking how to, um, looking, if you already deleted your world from Minecraft itself and you're looking how to get it back, I'm sorry, but I don't know if there's a way to get it back. I haven't tried it, but yeah, so if you're going to delete a world, go. It, it, it's really uh, complicated, but you want to go into your .minecraft saves and delete it from here. Because if you delete, because um, as you know, Windows, when it deletes things, it doesn't delete it permanently. It brings them to the recycling bin. But when you delete it from Minecraft, Minecraft deletes it, deletes it forever. It doesn't even put it in the recycling bin. So if you delete it from here, it will put it into the recycling bin. Because, uh, as you know, this delete button shouldn't even be called delete. It should be called move to recycling bin. And I know on Mac, it actually says that direct click and and it, there's no delete button it says move to recycling bin and yeah as you can see if you go to recycling bin, there's so many things here that i thought i deleted but are not actually deleted they're still on my computer so yeah but if you delete a minecraft world from from minecraft itself uh and you want to get it back there's no way to get it back but um unless you actually want to permanently delete that world then go ahead and delete it from minecraft but uh, it's actually better if you um delete it twice so you can make sure so you go into your your dot, your dot Minecraft, 
going to saves. Oops, not that's libraries. No, we're going to saves. Delete it from here. And if you want to get that world back, you can easily just go into your recycling bin. If you have a lot of things in your recycling bin like me, you can just search it and search it whatever you want. Um, and then yeah, and then if you want to permanently delete it, and you're it, it, I actually advise you to delete it from here. Delete it from here, and then delete it from the recycling bin, and then that will permanently also delete it. Not yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching these tips and tricks on your dot minecraft folder. I hope this helped some of you guys. Um, these are for the people who have no idea what any of these means. They probably only know what saves means, like if they want to download custom maps. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you, and I hope I could kind of caution you, or give you some attention of deleting your Minecraft world and stuff like that, because I accidentally deleted my Let's Play world. But um long i won't spoil anything for you but long story short i got it back i didn't get it back like exactly i had to rebuild everything in creative but it, i'll tell you that all in a later video so yeah thank you guys uh, for watching this i hope this helped and yeah thank you guys for watching and as always stay worthy my oreos peace out